Michigan State Police are looking to increase the number of women in their applicant pools. Their challenge? At a time when law enforcement agencies across the board are facing dwindling numbers of applicants. And we have our enlisted side, our commercial vehicle enforcement side, as well as our civilian sector. So there's a plethora of jobs to be had right now. But right now, about 9% of applicants are women, and there are fewer applicants overall. In 2017, more than 1,000 people applied. But today, their most recent recruitment school only saw 322 applicants. And of those, only 57 graduated. It's, it's a continual process. That process includes recruitment events both virtual and in person, even partnering with local universities and turning to softball. We are now working on trying to put together a softball team for women in our within our department, connecting with our university within the state, and just being able to host a friendly game with some of the softball members of that university and also recruit and let women see that, you know, we're not robots, we're women with lives. And that's to let you know that this is a desired career to be had. Sergeant Kelly Schaefer tells me the state police want to hire more women because it takes both sexes to get the job done. It's common sense. <laughs> it takes women and men to do the job of law enforcement. And in past practice, I think the stigma was that this is a male predominant environment, but women are needed. We are an asset to what makes this job what it is for us and our citizens today. The goal is for women to make up 20% of their applicant pool. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Elle Myers, Fox 47 News.